Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video. Um, I got another thing in the mail today. It's great. Um, this is from freaking Travis again. Heavy Metal 164 sent me another box. What are you doing to me, Travis? What are you doing? Um, I did send him a box last week, and I gave him some well-deserved extras along with the custom that... Uh, he commissioned me basically to do, and then what does he do? He sends me more stuff. So let's see what's inside this thing. Um, it's a nice little little box here. Um, no idea what we're gonna find, uh, except for I, I know I think I know of two pieces for sure that are in here, and he made it just sent me those two just to send me them. But again, totally unnecessary, Travis. Although you know if you want to just keep it up, that's that's totally fine with me. Um, he finds stuff that I totally want for my collection and sends it to me. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Thank you very, 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 very much. All right, so we got four pieces in here, and we're just going to go through them real quick. The first thing that he's got in here for me is an M2. This is one of those uh, Ford Econoline buses, or buses, vans. <clears throat> um or wait, Ford Falcon van, or whatever this thing is. It's the, the M2 van casting. It's really, really neat, and I actually don't have um, any of these loose. I've got, what do I have? I think I've got one that he gave me in an AutoZone 2-pack prior to this. Um, it's a van casting I've been trying to stay away from because I don't want to end up buying all of them. Um, I'm not much of an M2 collector, but, man, every time I see one of these, I, I do want to buy it. And it's, and it's really hard not to. Um, ah, man, and now that I've got one in my hands and it's loose, it actually rolls pretty well. For an M2, it doesn't, look, it doesn't appear to be super fragile like some of their stuff is. Just got plastic bumper and stuff that might be a little fragile. Other than that, this is a pretty solid um, casting. So I may get a few more of these. They are pretty neat. So not an M2 collector really by any means, but you know I like my Vans. So pretty sweet. Thank you very much, Travis, for that. So awesome, bud. What? Oh, my. He sent me one of these Konamis. All right, so if you watch Travis's channel, he recently got a few of these Konami cars. Um, and Konami, if you think of Konami, you think of up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA or AB, select, start. Anyway, Contra from back in the day for you uh, old school Nintendo players. It's for you folks that, are, uh, that were into the old school NES. And I think that same code worked for Life Force maybe and a couple other games for the Nintendo. So it was dubbed the Konami code. Uh, but anyway, these are made by Konami, and it appears to be the same um, logo as the video game manufacturer. Um, so these are made in J China. Um, this has a copyright of 2005 on it. Just really interesting. They are metal body. Uh, the base on this one is plastic. It's got like plastic bumper piece. It's got a little tailpipe thing going on here. Um, it's got inserts for headlamps, inserts for tail lamps as well. It is a uh, it's a Toyota 1600 GT. So that is interesting for sure. This is the first Konami I've had in my collection. He showed quite a few of them on his channel, so if you want to see more of these things, you should definitely check it out. I'll probably show this guy close up in my weekly video just to take a, a nice close look at it um, in a more higher resolution camera. So, uh, But really awesome, Travis. Thank you so much for that, for including that. That's cool. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. This thing has suspension, and it's got a lot of suspension travel. That is pretty awesome. That is really cool. So, yeah, it's got suspension, man. It Really nice suspension, too. So that's like uh, Ta Tamika limited vintage style suspension. So aside from uh, having a plastic base, this pretty much really reminds me of a TLV. So 
really neat, Travis. Thank you so much for that. That's awesome. Um, and then he gave me this uh, Firebird, which I'm not sure if this is from Park and Plate series. I knew this one was coming, and I should have probably looked it up. Well, actually, I didn't know it was coming. I just knew, I thought he had it aside. I didn't know he was actually shipping me any of this stuff right away. So I think it's from Park and Plates. It says Hot Wheels Firebird right there. And it's an 80s Firebird that I don't have. I love this casting. I collect it. And uh, this is one that I did not have. Very, very cool. There it is, black and gold. Looks very nice. It is minty fresh. And cool to get this little thing with it. I'm pretty sure this plastic probably used to be clear. And that's a weird thing with some of these old Hot Wheels plastics. The yellow. And I don't think it honestly has anything to do um, with anything. It's just the way the plastic is made. I think over time it actually just kind of turns yellow-ish. That's why you have like yellowed blisters and stuff. I know some people have said it might be due to temperature, or they were still stored at a high temperature or something like that. I really don't think it's anything to do with that. It's just these plastics um, are somewhat cheap, and basically they will yellow. Some of them will just yellow over time. So there's that. And as you can see, part of the little case is yellowed as well. Although maybe this was tinted. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But uh, anyway, very, very cool to add that 80s Firebird to my collection. Thank you so much, Travis, for that. And the thing I am I have my utmost excitement about here, and he showed me this, a picture of this. This is a Lamborghini Countach. And it is a Kyosho. I think it's a Kyosho, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Kyosho. Um, so this is really killer. This one has uh, rubber tires with tread, metal body, plastic base like most Kyoshos have. Um, it's got inserts for headlamps, inserts for tail lamps, and it's just a really sweet piece. I've looked at these on eBay several times and just haven't pulled the trigger on one. I probably want to get the black one. There's a black one with like gold stripes, I think, too, um, that I'll probably pick up. This thing is just awesome. So we'll take a closer look at this in the weekly video as well. We'll take a little peek at it uh, under a higher resolution. Check it out. I'll probably have to take some photos of it, too, for Instagram and all that stuff. So... Really, really cool. So I guess we'll call this, this is an REOK, -okay, total, completely random act of kindness from, from uh, Travis from Heavy Metal 164. Of course, if you have not already, please check him out on his channel. He shows just such awesome die casts and such an amount of it. Um, his collection is amazing, and he just keeps on showing cool, interesting stuff. That's why I love watching his channel. His videos are long, you know, so you got to set aside some time to watch them, but... They're worth it most of the time, and most of that is just because he just shows such cool, interesting stuff that you just don't find everywhere. You know, it's not just regular Hot Wheels. It's not, you know, just chase pieces. It's, uh, although he does show quite a bit of, uh, of chase pieces, and he cracks all his cars. I love loose collectors. I wish I was one. Um, I'm only sort of a loose collector. So uh, I just can't, I don't have the guts to open some of this stuff. Uh, but yeah, so very, very awesome. Check out his channel. Thank you very much, Travis, for this, these four awesome pieces, man. Thank you. And, uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and, uh, we'll see you in the next video.